efficiently to run democracy, uh, whether it's British style or American style, or you must have the preconditions. And the precondition is a fairly large educated middle class that provides stability in society, that can vote one way or the other between parties which are fundamentally in agreement on basic principles but in disagreement as to how to achieve certain objectives. Now when you have total disagreement in parties within a country and there is no middle class uh, that can, that's educated, that's got a certain standard of life which enables them to choose between one or the other, it has collapsed. Do, do you think that Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi's campaign to have Western-style democracy in Myanmar is a naive one? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it's naive, but I think it's not realistic. I mean, what institution is there in Burma or Myanmar that can govern the country? Have you got uh, a, a civil service, customs, immigration, postal services? Everything in Myanmar is now run by the army. If you dispose of the army, which is what must happen for Aung San Suu Kyi to take over, then you will need a United Nations armed force to go in to substitute for the army. It will be like East Timor. And if you go in, who is going to put down all these rebellions by the Karens, the Shans, the Mons? There are about seven or eight still insurgent groups. Who is going to be responsible for that? Are you going to have seven or eight new states come out of Burma? So then you will need a United Nations armed force to go in to substitute for the army. It will be like East Timor. And if you go in, who is going to put down all these rebellions by the Karens, the Shans, the Mons? There are about seven or eight still insurgent groups. Who is going to be responsible for that? Are you going to have seven or eight new states come out of Burma? So I think it's a more complex issue than has been made out between democracy and military dictatorship. Is the UN or are the Western nations prepared to pay the price to bring about change? I'm not saying the change may not be for the better. All I'm saying is, are you prepared to pay that price? If you are, then I say, right, let's reconsider our position.